well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a PlayStation 3 game disc, not a digital one like Sony wants me to do. If I have a physical copy, why won't I just use the physical copy and not bother renting the same game I already have? That's just stupid. But getting back to this topic. And welcome to Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. I am excited for the new Ratchet and Clank game coming soon. And I figured to get myself amped, I would play some of the classics. So let's get in on this. We're just gonna click new game and we're just gonna override my previous save. And I'm not gonna say anything during this cutscene because it is funny as heck. So see you guys once the cutscene is done. As soon as it's done saving, of course. And this is an old one, it doesn't have an SSD drive in it. I wonder if I install one into the PlayStation 3 would that make loading times faster? Leave it your comments, thoughts in the description below what you think about that. Fuel lines, check. Horizontal stabilizers, check. Ion thrusters, looks like we got a tailwind. If we time it right, we can ride the slipstream of the grav train past the sea grid traffic. Ahem. Launch the mag grappler onto that pedway overpass and slingshot right up to Ratchet. The thrusters are fine, Clank. See? Don't worry, it's probably just a fused ion duct. Incoming message from Captain Quark. Ratchet? Clank, I've uh, got a bit of a situation here at the Planetary Defense Center. Nothing I can't handle, mind you, just a few thousand. Heavily armed robotic commandos, but I figured, hey, if you were in the neighborhood, maybe. <laughs> I, I knew I had something to hide. Hmm. Heavily armed robotic commandos? When aren't they heavily armed? Are you sure this is functioning properly? You worry too much. Planetary Defense Center, here we Okay, that was pretty funny, I will admit. And it got me thinking about the new Ratchet and Clank game, which is basically takes place... Oh, one second, I know what's going on here. I just go to options... Here is the problem, right here. It's in stereo. I needed to have it like that. Then I can hear all the sounds. If it's in any other form, you don't hear that. But now that I have that clicked, we shouldn't have any problems hearing the narrator voice. Unfortunately, because of this little area right here. Anyway, getting back to the topic. And look at that face of that bug. It looks like a bug, doesn't it? The psycho. So let's just get into this. Oh, I forgot. I... Oh no, I can't smash these. Oh. My cat, my controller just quit on died on me. 
Apparently the batteries are pretty drawn. That was not good. Hey, at least I was able to save myself. Oh, no you don't! No you don't! Ow! You little jerk. Don't know why my controller just cut out on me. I mean, I have it plugged in, so I don't know why I did that. Uh, it did it again! What the? It seems to do it whenever I sh use the blaster. It just seems to cut out. So I guess I can't. I guess that's the challenge. I gotta try to beat the game without using my blaster. Is that it? Yep. That's the thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? Where did you come from? Okay, that does not make any sense. But hey, at least it's more of a challenge. Wait a minute. Yep. It's something wrong with the controller. I can't seem to use my weapons. I don't know why. That's going to make this level a little bit more difficult. Maybe I should try going with a third party controller, but I don't have any of those. Or at least as far as I know. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. How am I gonna beat him when I can't even use my weapon? Yeah. Let me just see if I can fix this. Be right back. Okay, here we are again, folks. I changed the plug, and let's just see what happens when I fire. Okay, no problem. So I can use. So it definitely was the plug I was using to charge the controller, and not the controller itself. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Why are you just using another controller? Well, that's because that controller. I haven't played this game for so long. And so both batteries and both controllers are dead. So yeah. But hey, at least I fixed the problem. And it wasn't a controller problem, it was more of a wire problem. Apparently it just wasn't powerful enough to charge it and transmit data. Hey, at least it's fixed. <laughs> All right, take care of these little droids. Take care of you and you and you. Oh yeah. Now, getting back to the Ratchet and Clank's new game, Torn Dimensions or Ripped from Dimensions. I'm sorry, I don't remember it. But if you take a look at my cartoons on my other channel. You will notice that I make my own cartoons and they're basically about my OC Edge, at least not the same old Edge. You see, if you see him like get together like with say, I don't know, um, I'll be right back, I'll just take care. Okay, I'm back and I just had to get a little meal as I will eat during cutscenes. And I'm going backwards, aren't I? Yep. I'm just happy I was able to fix that one little problem. It seemed like with the other plug I was using, every time I would press a button, it would... Well, well no, that's not exactly true. I mean, I could like use my wrench and that was like a square button. But... Ow! I just wasn't recognizing. Ow! What the? Oh, you son of a. Take that. In that. Yeah, that's what you get, you. Getting back to the subject with Ratchet and Clank's new game. If, as I was saying, with my animation, if you take a look at it, you will see that my character, Edge, like say, he gets into a um, commitment with, say, um. I don't know, uh, uh, 
door off when the first is a star. I will tell you this is like that won't happen. But I'm just using that as a metaphor. And then you see in another episode you see him getting together with say Hakapo. Well, that's not the same edge. It's just an alternate version of edge. Basically, basically like saying, just because you're together with one person in this reality doesn't mean you're together with them in another reality. Case in point with my original character, Alea. In the Sonic parody, she had a real crush on Edge, but it is a human version of her. And how that happened has been yet to say, but I did have an original saying until Kappa scared the living daylights out of me. In fact, in fact, I had an original animation where Robotnik stole the quill from Edge and used it to clone Sheep. Yeah, I'm not joking. And that was before the Sonic movie was even a thing. I am not joking. I literally came up with that idea with the quail before the Sonic movie was even announced. Before there was even a trailer, I came up with that. But unfortunately, because of Kappa, I uh, have to delete all that footage because YouTube was not being completely transparent and I thought my cartoons would be labeled for kids because they weren't being serious. So now any evidence that I came up with the idea with the quill, the spine before the Sonic movie is gone. But trust me when I say I came up with that first, I came up with it first. 100% I am telling the truth. I came up with the quill, spine, whatever you like to call those things on Sonic's back first. Ah. Uh, unfortunately, now I don't have the evidence because of Kappa. Okay, I'm gonna stop about that, but still it pisses me off. Anyway, getting back to the pet ultimate reality. So, my theory about this is that one reality Ratchet will follow, fall into, where his parents get this are still alive and he is literally hanging out with them wouldn't that be freaking awesome i mean granted it wouldn't be his kids his parents but it would be his parents he would actually be able to literally see his parents Maybe not from his reality, but at least you see a variation of Ratchet's parents. And on top of that, Ratchet's name, his real name, could be revealed. I mean, we don't even know who actually named him Ratchet, but we can find out what his real Lombax name would be if he traveled to a reality where his parents were still very much alive very much alive Rashi could finally see his parents and I think that would be a nice little thing if not in the food game that would be nice for like a little uh, DLC bonus footage like maybe after the defeat Dr. Nefarious they use the uh, Dimensionator to find Ratchet's family or at least a reality where his fan parents are still existing then uh, of course it can't be always that simple but I think that would be like a cool little or even if they just make it like an easter egg that still would be a pretty nice thing 
I mean, Rashid could finally find out where he belongs. Well, maybe not in this reality, but he knows in an alternate reality, he would actually exist with his power. Haha. <laughs> oh, that just my want go. I don't know how the real story's gonna go with Dr. Nefarious returning. And you know what? For those of you who think that uh, Sherman Vax, Fox, Sherman Vox, or oh, as I am mispronouncing his name. I mean, I literally played the game and I can't remember that game. German Drac? Yeah, that's it, German Drac. I mean, for those of you who think the German Drac should be like, Okay, that was not my fault. My stupid video literally, like, froze on me. So that wasn't my fault. You probably couldn't see that during the recording, but really, my screen was literally frozen. And I couldn't see what was happening. I didn't know what was going on. I really didn't see anything. So, at least this way, is going. Getting back to German Drac. If you remember from the original Ratchet and Clank game, he got flung into his planet by the hands of Ratchet and Clank, and Clank and Ratchet used his own invention to blow up the planet. So, yeah. Ah, I forgot it had that motion controls right here. You know, I think it's safe to say uh, I was going to say that Sony came up with the motion controls first, but I think it was Looks Nintendo first with the Where's Wii. Fork? <laughs> Whoa, ow. I thought I could be really cool and avoid that. Whoop. And whoop. And whoop. And I got a blast it. Whoop. Whoop. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Yeah, you don't need your senses to see that. Like, uh, he's gonna blast those away. Too bad I can't use my gun. Bang, 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 bang. You're dead, son. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Like, I can't see that clank. Duh. Whoop. Haha. <laughs> nice try. Nope. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, baby. Whoop! Nope! Negatory! Deny! And another cutscene! Hust down! Percival? <laughs> Emperor! See the crown? See the scepter? The giant walking throne? And legion of royal robotic commandos? Emperor! 
Not that a treacherous furball like you could... What's this? <laughs> such a primitive robot companion. And your kind used to be such renowned engineers. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful if I were you. He's got posomorphic plaster cannons in his fingertip. My gripe is not with the people of this arcade planet, but with you! Surrender your death bot. And simply allow us to kill you. No one else need be harmed. Fair enough. Here you go! Autopilot engaged. Whoa! Hang on, Clank! Hyperspace boosters online. Engaging cryosleep. Cryosleep? I don't know. There's no way I'm gonna... Fortunate cryosleep does not work on robots. Knocked out there for a minute. I am fine. Where are we? Beats me. Ship must have run out of fuel while on autopilot. Well, come on, we need to find another ship and get back to Kerwan. Okay, so I can't help thinking. You know, Ratchet would not know anything about Percival, or this planet, or the solar system, or about his kind, if Percival was not so vendetta against eliminating all of the Lombaxes in the known universe. I mean, he could continually rule the galaxy if he just left Ratchet alone. In doing so, Percival basically just doomed his entire plan. He literally ruined his whole plan. That's because... Oh, I hate Lombaxes, and they are my style. He literally just dug his own gray. Whoop, no you don't. Ha <laughs> ha. Seriously. I mean, Ratchet and Clank and Emperor Percival could have continued nonchalant. But wait a minute. That would mean. That would mean somebody told him about Ratchet and where they could find him. So somebody betrayed Ratchet. But who? The only person I could think start. of who would then do that. The crouch and jump buttons together. For maximum jumping distance, oh, shut jump from up, I know what I'm gap. doing. I'm just rusty. <laughs> oh, no you don't. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah. Give me that ammo. So the question is, who told Percival about Ratchet? Who betrayed Ratchet and Clank? My money is on Quark, because he wants to be the big kahuna. He wants to be the number one hero. And he 
everything too that is wrapped to a prank are always here to save the day. I mean, seriously. The proto pet, which I can't defeat it. Oh, no, you know. <laughs> Whoa, oh no, you don't. Haha, <laughs> oh, nice try. Yeah, give me all that ammo. Well, I guess it's health at this point. Ow! You, you have acquired overgrown caterpillar. Resource can be used to upgrade your weapons. Simply go to a weapons vendor and select the upgrade weapons option. Yeah, the reason I have that activated is because, hello, I don't have to say it. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, give me all that bolts. Lovely, lovely bolts. Oh no, you don't. Haha. Ooh, more bolts. Thank you kindly. Oh, oh. And it's gonna give me a, a prompt on how to use rewards. Eventually, I just know it. It always does. And now, Wee! Now, getting back to the other Ratchet and Clank game, the new one coming out, the female Lombax. I do have a theory, and it basically has to do with Ratchet's real name. I mean, we know Ratchet is not his official Lombax name because of Emperor Tachyon, but what if that female Lombax is Ratchet's sister? I mean, seriously. I mean, it, I mean, we don't know if it's a female or a male, but it definitely sounds like a female to me. So, what if that female Lombax is Rash's sister. I mean, in the way she just appeared when we Frank just needed his help, that seems a little suspicious. I mean, she just appears right behind me, Frank. And the fact that she said, Who? And that's because. If she is Rash's sister in an alternate reality, well, that basically means Ratchet wouldn't have the name Ratchet. He would have something different. But who gave Ratchet the name Ratchet? We don't know. And it would be nice if the creators actually tell us what happened to Angela Quarth, which fun. There we go. Get rid of you guys. Oh. Oh. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Give me all those lovely, lovely days. Ha ha. Upgrade weapon time. Battle time. In this corner, we have Ratchet holding the Inferno. Yeah, we be able to defeat this Leviathan. Let's see. Oh, he is playing into this Leviathan. Oh, the Leviathan managed to knock him into the sewer. The Ratchet was able to get out, and he continually is beating up this Leviathan. Oh, and Ratchet may take. Does is it? He oh, and he gets more ammo. Oh, and it looks like the Leviathan is almost done, and he is out of here. And Rashi receives the Leviathan so for his trouble. These are valuable in the Polaris galaxy and can be traded for bolts. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the Leviathan so because they're gonna come in handy later. Okay, moving in in a little cinematic view of the plant 
where we have to do a few things in Dumbledore. Here's the pirate. Let's call him uh, Rob. Attention, citizens of Kabali. Yeah, because he's going to rob us. Reports that a lumpax has infiltrated the star sector. Welcome to Grumblenet's weapon shop. Hey, did it. He can buy ammo, upgrade Let's your upgrade. weapon, or tools of destruction. Mm -hmm. Looks ahead. like we only be able to get like one or two. Boom, done boom, done. boom, and boom. So we were able to get like five upgrades for this gun. Not bad. Not bad. The, the threat to your security. Boo crap. Come on. No, Ratchet, I want you to hit the, the control that's a little finicky. To access your map, but this is still press like the, the original button. controller that I came with my system. And you can play with me. No drifting issue. I've always been lucky with that. The only time that happened with me, the drifting, happened to be with the uh, Nintendo Joy-Con. Yeah, they started drifting as well. Don't you uh, lay this on me, you worthless sack of kerchief sweat. You were supposed to watch the jail gate. Ah, blame the parrot. Always blame the parrot. Is everything all right, sir? Ah, Imperial spies! Hide their bodies! Fuck! Ah! Oh. Well, excuse my friend. We're just a couple of humble smugglers, unfairly hunted and persecuted wherever we go. Yep, seems the Imperials have shut down the planet's gelatonium plant. They must be, uh, looking for someone. Well, we're kind of stranded ourselves. Our ship crashed back there and- Aw, oh, come now, sell their kidneys! Stranded, hmm? Well, I'll tell you what, pal, we're gonna make you a deal. You get the gel pumps working and we'll, uh, procure. A vessel for you. Here, you'll need this gelinator. You get to keep that. Gelinator. I will gelinate you all! You are trespassing on Imperial property. Yeah, I don't care. Emperor Tachyon is a butt. I'm just looking around for. Goody, goody, goody. Places to jump. Hop! Nice! Hop! Yeah! Alright, first try! Oh my goodness, look at all those lovely, lovely boats! Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm doing good. Just put that in there. And boy! Put that there! Haha! -ha, you just been good! And go up here because we need to get some supplies. We got more folks around here. And get that. Oh yeah, I'm good. Oh yeah, look at this. Poor car, baby! Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm that good. Wee! Hoppity hop hop hop. Yeah, give me those boats. Give me those boats. Give me, give me, give me those boats. And the stupid camera angle style tries to mess me up. Okay, grab these. And... Bam! 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 Haha! <laughs> you all been grouped! That's a good way to like, freeze them for a few minutes. So they won't attack you then. Well, technically those little robots just eat the gel. Yeah, those little robots eat the gel, so they're really not much of a threat, except for when you're trying to get up somewhere. So that's a pain right there. And I'm just grabbing all the boats I can, and up the side of the gelatin go. What do they use this for anyway? Making jello? Is this a jello factory? To make lime green jello? Plant operating at 50% efficiency. That even mentions this jello. We must remind currently defying a direct imperial decree. Desist at once. There's an invisible barrier right there. Which amazingly disappears as soon as you land. This doesn't make sense to me. Whoop! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. I didn't think to say I'll have 3,000. Oh! 
is a floating box of mystery! And that was just a normal quest box. <laughs> I love that glitch when I can see a box literally floating in the air. I mean, I know it's just a glitch. It gotta be a glitch. I mean, what other thing could it be? Did the developers designed it to be a floating box? No. They, there's no way they would do that. Nope. I was hitting the wrong button. Okay. And we just do this. Now the first time I played this I actually tried gooping in to the waterfall, but I found out that I can actually get over it. Like so. I could just use my pistol, but why wasting the ammo on just weak enemies? I mean seriously, that is so weak one hit from my wrench and boom they're dead. Such a waste of ammo, in my opinion. Now, you see these little robots, they expect you to use the goop to get up there, but I have my own way. I don't know if anybody else has came up with this idea, but I certainly did. First, let's move this uh, magnet pad into position. I don't know if that's what it's actually called. Gravity war or something? Now, normally we turn this boat, but what I wanted to do first is get over here so we can get these boats around well, these crates. And look at that, we got like 3,000 boats already. Over three, 31,000 boats. Yeah, that's the proper term. And now we turn this into there. And we get a cinematic view from the outside Gelatone where the pallet becomes efficiency. active and again. Will be most displeased. In fact, we actually had to do that first so we could get that gold boat. Ratchet, we should so see that now about I can just uh, use this and get over here like so. And boom, done. Without messing with those stupid robots. And now we gotta deposit our gel back into here. So we can open up that door, which also closes that door. So let us go to get our gold boat. Mm, indeed. Ah, I turned into Zorbon right there. Uh, fun fact whenever I do that voice when my mom calls. It cracks up. Uh, slick devices are special combat items, very handy in a pinch. Come on, step into our office and take a look. See, you got you sure. a deal. I'll get a couple of those and those. those yeah, no, I'm not gonna waste my Groovatron on that. I see them. I know how they work. All right. So we got to get some more boat. Oh wow! Apparently that stupid uh, businessman took my thirty-one thousand boat. Okay, that was my die with robots for for getting in my Attention, way. Citizens of Kabalia. Okay. Never forget the horrors and atrocities committed by the Lombax species. What horrors? Seriously? Oh. That's an area over there. Now, you might think you could get over there, but trust me, I tried once before. I think I actually was able to get over to there. But there's sadly nothing there. Literally. There's not even a collision mode there. You can't do anything there, yeah, anyway. Oh! Camera angle almost missed me up, but I managed to do you. Yeah, they could try to use deadly force, but it won't work for them. <laughs> yeah, give me all those lovely boats. I need to get back the boats I lost. 
know what? I'm gonna try and beat the game as far as I can without getting a suit of armor. That's gonna be my challenge. No armor getting. Uh, do I have enough? Yes, I do. Good, good. Citizens gonna of need it because there's two Leviathans I need to get Remember, here. Do not and I got speak stuck on that. A Leviathan will pop matrix. up here. Shoot I'm just gonna get rid of these little the guys first. Just using my wind. Wow. Yeah, he did. Here we, here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. Ratchet is supporting that Leviathan. And his gun has leveled up to level 3. Which in turn restores his ammo. Oh, and that Leviathan is taking a hit. Oh, and it looks like Ratchet has beaten that Leviathan with ease. Yeah, I'm gonna do that every time I... You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that every time I go up against a Leviathan. I just think it's funny. Bam! <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I got some... And here we are with round three, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, it looks like Rash's gun has targeted that new worm! Oh, now it is gone! Now Rash can... Completely let loose on that Leviathan. Oh, but the Leviathan looks like he got a few fire good hits on Ratchet. But Ratchet is very close to beating him. And it looks like he's done it, ladies and gentlemen. He has defeated all three Leviathan bees and gained their souls. Now, that's gotta take care of these guys. Haha! <laughs> oh, no you don't. Alright, how many... Oh! Hup. The thing is, the challenge is to try to beat as many... Uh, that's for getting in my way! Jerk. Okay, let's talk to the smuggler and see... Where about that ride? I think we'll save that for last. What are Some Leviathan souls? Look here. There are creatures out there. Now, the ones of the larger variety carry in each of them a Leviathan soul. Now, I'll kill them. I'll collect them. And then sell them. And I'll tell you what. You find any souls, you be sure and bring them on back to me. You hear? I'll give you a fair price for them. Okay, and... Uh, all your Leviathan souls for 2,000 both? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that <laughs> oh, yet. Gotta I still got to save that up. You're on Kabalia. It's the jail capital of the Polaris Galaxy. Well, at least it was until Emperor Tachyon shut down the plant. Who is <laughs> Emperor Tachyon? Well, he's something of a mystery. Come here. I heard he was hatched from an egg frozen somewhere in the vertigris sector like a Kragmite sickle, you know? You ought to be careful around him. He's got himself a sore spot for Lombaxes. Okay, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna end the video right here. So if you like this and like to see more of it, why not hit that like button? Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And until the next one, this is Edge signing off. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this gameplay and want to see more of it, why not hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop the like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are available. Until the next video, this is Edge signing off.